Hello my beautiful Capricorn, welcome to your second half of June 2023 reading. I hope you're doing well. We're going to start with general messages before we have a look and see what's going on in the love department for you. In the pre-shuffle, there was an emphasis on the need for kindness and compassion towards others. I don't know if there's conflict going on around you, like in your friendship circle or with family, um, but I feel like kindness is going to go a long way. I feel like kindness is what is going to resolve the conflict um, and it's just going to be the best kind of course of action for you and for everyone concerned. When isn't it? I'm not sure, but that's what the emphasis is. You've got the donkey, which is saying, be kind. You never know what someone is going through. You also have pay it forward. So, you know, that's the need to be generous, be giving. Um, and, and that includes giving the benefit of the doubt, right? Um, you've got set differences aside in service of a common goal. So find the common goal, find what you have in common rather than emphasizing your differences in order to resolve the situation, okay? So there's a need to find a different way of looking at a problem or looking at, um, you know, a conflict. See it from the other person's perspective. Um, you've got be humble as well. So all of these cards are talking to each other. Humility is all about, you know, kind of putting your self-interest aside for the greater good. Um, it's about being able to admit your mistakes. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I want to say about that card. So there's definitely going to be situations this month that are going to trigger you. You've got the blue ringed octopus, which is saying, recognize your emotional triggers. You also have work through your feelings. So we've got emotive situations happening. You've got cool your emotions. So don't allow your emotions to cloud your judgment, particularly when you're in conflict, okay? You might say things that you can't take back um, and that could be very damaging. The other thing coming through in your oracles is um, the fact that you are capable of great change. So I don't know if some of you are feeling a little bit stuck. If you feel like the energies have been really stagnant of late, maybe you feel like, you know, it's Groundhog Day and you would really like a different kind of routine. You want to plot twist, you want to shake things up a little bit and keep it interesting. Well, you've got this card here that says think ahead and plan for favorable results. Maybe you need something to look forward to. Maybe you need to gradually implement changes to your daily routine so that in a few months time, you'll have a completely new routine. You'll have a few little things um, in, that you're introducing day by day and then all of a sudden your life will look completely different. You've got to open up to change. So I love it when all the cards, you know, are speaking the same language. Um, I'm going to just do one more general deck, then we'll move on to your love life. So this is the animal power deck. Show me the messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Show me the messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to see, please? What does Capricorn need to see? Okay, you've got the ant. Keep going. So there's an aspect of life where you're being asked to persevere um, and trust the process. Now, ants also work together. So again, this is about the need for cooperation and collaboration. You've got the eagle. Trust your higher vision. So this is where you're itching for change in your life. Let's see what the eagle says. Eagle medicine helps you soar toward a higher, more illuminated perspective so that you can see things as they are. Eagle also calls on you to take an honest look at yourself and ask, what feels outdated or no longer aligned with the person I'm becoming? Once you have the answer, you can release the parts of yourself that are limiting true growth. Okay. 
from this vantage point, take a moment to tune into where you could be more loving, supportive or understanding. Again, that really resonates with the other cards. Let this highest vision give you the courage to step into new ways, trusting that Eagle is by your side. So you're being asked to consider things from all angles. Um, and learn about yourself by looking at things from a broader perspective. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you in the love department. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is going on for Capricorn in love in the second half of June 2023. What's going on for Capricorn in love, second half of June 2023, please. Eight of Pentacles, you could be looking to resolve something. You're dedicated to work something out and improve your circumstances. Let's see. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn, please. Second half of June 2023, please. Yeah, so you're working towards change, positive change. Maybe maybe in, in certain aspects of a connection you've been going around and around in circles and you're wanting to break a cycle. You're wanting to achieve more balance in a connection or if you're not in a connection, it's about achieving more balance within yourself, you know, your masculine and feminine energies, uh, balance within your daily routine so that you can attract a balanced, healthy relationship. You've got three out of four major arcana cards. This is really, really interesting. You've got the Empress in the reverse, which is distorted feminine energy. Make sure you're not pushing or trying too hard to affect change because that might actually sabotage you. Whether you're single or there's a connection, because, you know, we want to see the Empress in the upright position. And that, that's, you know, that's healthy feminine energy. That's receptiveness. That's knowing your worth. Allowing other people to come to you. Allowing situations to evolve, evolve naturally. Here you have another major arcana card. The Hanged Man in the reverse position. Something could be tethering you when it comes to love could be that you're still healing from something with this three of swords in the reverse it could also be a lack of confidence queen of wands in the reverse but you know you also have the devil which again is feeling bound feeling restricted we have the six of wands it could be ego, yours or someone else's getting in the way. Let's have a look at what the oracles have. Let me use this card, this deck. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is the advice for Capricorn in love? Second half of June 2023, please Spirit, what, what are the messages? You're definitely feeling triggered. You've got heal your inner child wounds. Inner child wounds are normally things like fear of abandonment. You know, if you had an absent parent when you grew up and you felt like you had to work harder to get their attention. Um, or, yeah, I mean, there's so many different inner child wounds. When you bring your inner child into view, you can start to see how you can limit yourself from experiencing and cultivating healthier relationships. Please show me all of the messages for Capricorn in love. Second half of June, 2023, please, Spirit. like there's problems with communication we have um, break the silence you don't have to wait for the other person to chase you 
even though we have the Empress in the reverse. And I just finished saying, don't chase. But what this card is saying, it's, it's okay to make the first move and break the silence. That doesn't really equate to chasing, I guess. Yeah, see, pride. I told you with the Six of Wands, I was getting pride. So you've got put your pride to the side. Don't let it become the one thing standing between you and your happiness and cause you to lose the person who's trying to get close to you. Like the other cards were saying, look for the common goal rather than the differences between you and the other person. Respect your differences. You're not going to see eye to eye on everything. It's okay to agree to disagree sometimes. So it's about the need to respect the other person's perspective and opinion. See what you can learn from them. And that's part of that be humble message that we got before. Part of what makes love so great is the differences. So you have to wear their shoes. You have to put yourself in their position and try to see their perspective. Try to understand their actions and their choices and it might pleasantly surprise you. If you want to break the silence and you don't want to initiate communication, the least you can do is kind of create a safe space for them to come in and, and say what they need to say. Allow your partner to speak openly without feeling judged or treated as if they're wrong and broken. If they come to you, be there to meet them. Okay. Now, there's a message about the need to not assume anything. You've got leave the detective work to the actual detectives. Don't read into things too much. And start reading signals that are not actually there to bend their behavior to fit your view or to fit your fantasy, right? Now, this is interesting because, again, there's a message about the need to not chase, which goes hand in hand with the Empress in the reverse. You've got, if you want to get chased, you have to stop chasing. Chasing can be energetic. You know, you don't actually have to be blowing up someone's phone or knocking on their door constantly to chase them. You can be obsessively thinking about them and people can telepathically pick that up. Or you could be constantly, you know, checking up on their social media. This card is saying if they're not that interested in pursuing you, but you're chasing them, the balance is thrown and soon they'll lose even more interest. Let them make the moves on you. There's definitely some kind of conflict. You've got the need to morph angry energy into loving energy. Okay. Anger to love. So very interesting cards let's see what the obstacles are between you and this person of interest angels and spirit please show me what are the major obstacles in love for capricorn second half of june 2023 what are the major obstacles in love for capricorn please what are the major obstacles in love Ten of Cups in the reverse. An inability to, you know, achieve that happiness and um, harmony. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of adversarial energy right now rather than, you know, romantic, playful energy. We have the death card. So major change could be an obstacle between you and your person. We have the five of pentacles in the reverse, which can be financial hardship. Holding back four of pentacles is definitely a challenge. So not being able to, you know, be open and speak the truth. Three of cups in the reverse. I'm going to have to clarify that. That can be someone... Someone's lifestyle choices kind of sabotaging the connection. Maybe they go out too much. Friends could be interfering in this connection. Let's see, angels and spirit, please show me what is the three of cups in the reverse as a challenge for Capricorn. Second half of June. It could just be that there's a lack of happiness. 
You know, there's there's more fighting than anything else. Three of Swords in the reverse. There could have been one person getting in the way of this connection because we've got two threes. Show me more about this Three of Cups and Three of Swords in the reverse, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, definitely feels like someone in the surroundings, in, in this in your person's environment, maybe so friends and family, ten of pentacles in the reverse. Addictions, lifestyle choices with the temperance card. Um, yeah, we do have a queen of wands here, so that's that's my third person. So let's see. If we can get any more information from the oracle cards. This is going on for Capricorn in love in the second half of June So you could have been dealing with someone on the rebound and they could still be, you know, holding on to the ex. Um, they were behaving in a way that made you feel manic. You know, you want to be in a mature relationship where there's dependability, there's consistency, there's mutual support and respect. But I feel like, you know, this person may not have felt ready to um, dive into a real serious commitment with you because we have playing the field. Um, so, it, you know, it could have triggered possessive behavior in you and made you act out of character. So you put your guard up. You didn't trust how things were going. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what else. Show me what does Capricorn need to know regarding this connection? Yeah, so they needed to complete their karmic contract in order to clear negative karma. So there was, they were still kind of um, involved with somebody in some kind of capacity when the two of you got together. Show me please, Spirit, what does Capricorn need to see regarding this connection? There's definitely the need to clear the air, alright? Both of you were holding back, a lot was left unsaid, and they no longer want to hide the way they feel about you. What did I say? Recent breakup. They could have ended a relationship in order to be with you. Um, and maybe they just realized they weren't quite ready. It's up to you if you want to take them back. But you want real change. You want to see a difference in their behavior. We've got illusions. You want to move on from the illusion that they might have fed you in order to get you where they wanted you. You might have lost yourself in loving them. And that's why you became possessive and a bit manic. Show me more about Capricorn's connection, please. Yep, third party. Some of you could be trying to cut cords with this person and clear the way for new love. Okay. See what your advice is. Angels and Spirit, what is Capricorn's advice when it comes to love? Second half of June 2023, please. Capricorn's advice. 
okay there are divine workings in this current struggle certain releases have to take place for you to be at the appropriate energetic vibration to move towards where you need to be and who you need to interact with okay that's just capricorn you can see from the spirit yeah if you don't like your relationships the way to change them is to change how you're treating yourself so think about if you're treating yourself with respect because we teach other people how to treat us by the way we treat ourselves. Do you love yourself? Do you feel like you're more than enough? Your advice is to let go of this connection. Um, just at least for now, just let it go. Give this time for the dust to settle. You've got all pain comes from what we feel we need and the fear that our needs will not be met. What is it that you need? give that energy to either yourself or the other person so for example if you need to be able to trust the other person you need to first be able to trust yourself and you also have to extend trust again in order to heal trust issues right you have to kind of like dive into the deep end and just trust Otherwise, you're not open fully to love. Let's see what your crystal spirit message is. What is Capricorn's message in love, please, spirit? You, Clays. So, throat chakra, the need to communicate. The message is... Trusting your own earned wisdom. Understanding the people you love and care about isn't always easy, especially when you become aware that you still have much to learn about yourself. All of us have hidden gifts that we have yet to acknowledge. They are easier to discover when you look through the eyes of love, guided by an inner wisdom that reminds you that we are all on a healing journey and at different places on the road. Listen to your intuitive intelligence about your relationships, for it is the universe and not wishful thinking that will bring truth about other people and about yourself into your awareness. I hope this reading was helpful, Capricorn. Do leave me feedback in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.